accounting, check the description box below for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about the sound tools I'm using today, and links, all the links, Patreon, Instagram, my album, etc., etc. Now let's learn. Okay, always, let's look at the progression we're playing over. It's a 6-8 groove in A minor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. F, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kind of like a weird take on Rhiannon. And then, yeah, just want to see what would happen if I took all the little George Harrison motifs I could think of and throw them at it. So we drop in with a big pre-bend here on eight. Um, and so let's look at this hand. One thing about bends, I tend to keep this right hand on the strings. Yep, that eight comes down. And then this is definitely a Harrison thing. A little hammer on pull off and then a slide out of it. I think you can see what I'm doing. I'm not going to call out the fret numbers. And then, yeah, once I get back to that third fret there, more, yeah, more using bends to get the notes to move. And so just so you know the information I'm using here to map this out, caged shapes. I'm a big caged zealot. I have a course on True Fire about it, and I talk about it in all my videos. That's an A minor, so is this. So that's what I'm seeing there. And then this next series of licks is straight out of Come Together. Yes, boom, worth it right there. That's the lick, the pre-bend. You can either do a pull off out of it. And I, this is what I love. Instead of landing in the obvious, he always likes to flip it on you. Goes down, up, which is such a cool trick. Yeah, so that went down and then whoop, jump to that eight again. And again, if you notice this hand here, because if I'm not careful, all that extra noise, sit that hand on the strings. And then I could have stayed here and gone, also straight out come together, but I moved it again up to another caged structure. Here's an A minor. And so yeah, 12 and nine. But then the next tone that I wanted to leap to is that C there, that 13. Again, that little. And then go up a little more. Kind of keeping that little pre-bend, I guess that's a pre-bend, pre-bend triplet. And that's, an, again, just another thing. That's an improv tip. Like when you have a little cool motif, you just keep grabbing it and put it in different places of the scale. So again, I'm out of now this version of A minor pentatonic. Mm -hmm. You can see there, 15s and 13s. This is a cool new thing. I literally just started doing this new trick like this month. Bend is up. I have a pinky. That's so cool. You can do that only sometimes. Because that's going up to an E. And yes, that gives you an F, which does work. I love that. That starts to sound like a Mike Campbell lick. Also, great guitar player. Mm -hmm. And this is another Harrison cluster that I see him do quite often. Again, if this is an A minor and you know, there's the minor pentatonic, this little like grab of, I hear him do that in quite a few songs. So yep, 14, 13. And then that 15 going way up. And yeah, those other strings are on my fingers and my f hand is on the strings because yeah, you're in danger zone with bending that note of, of all that happening. And then this is actually, then I pivoted to another one of my favorites. This is a Hendrix thing. The 15 is up. And then that 15 on the um, B string is, is grabbed. 
that's hard to do. That 15's up. And then, yeah, that 15 was up and came down to the 13. And yeah, that's, that's cool though. And then I got back down to that 10 on the B, the A. And then I did some, uh, what are those? Those are just thirds from A, that was still just like A minor. 13, 12. 10, 8. Uh, there are slowdown gears in YouTube if you're watching on a desktop or an iPad or some such thing like that. Uh, somebody complained that on their TV, if they're watching on their TV, there's not a way to slow it down. I don't know. Maybe there is. Somebody comment if there is. Put me down to three quarter speed if, if that helps or speed me up if you have ADD. And then I waited for a second. One, two, three to get that B and that D. I think, is it on an F at that point? Yeah, no, it's still on the A, I think. Yeah, it's just like a jazzy thing to do, throw some color tones at that. Because yeah, against an A. While like the chord is down here. Mm -hmm. That's just, I knew that would be cool. And then one last Harrison motif, like, again, just the sliding and the moving. Like, yeah, that, that's from like, you know, his sitar studies, the way he would slide along a string uh, rather than just be like. He did more of that earlier, but like later and later, his solos and his little melodies just got so slidey. So there I am. That starts to sound like. God, that does sound just like a Harrison lead when you think about it. The Mike Campbell lead from Breakdown. It's, I mean, it makes sense. They're so similar. You saw that there. Again, that's all just, I can find the minor pentatonic in its five versions because I know my cage stuff. Here it is again. So that's, you can see that 12 and stuff. Now we're back in the spot that we all recognize. Just look at that leg again. And then, then the last little thing is one of these cool tricks you can do on fenders because of the straight headstock. You have all this depth up here with the strings. I can hit our harmonic here on the fifth fret of the G. And I can push down behind the nut to get that ghostly effect. So cool. There you have it. Uh, yeah, so that's a good one for warm up. Uh, you know, it's not easy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, again, each one of these little licks uh, is is a lot of work to get the the intonation right, to get the control over the bends. And I think that's w one of the things I love so much about Harrison is that everything is so melodic. And it's so much about the melody as opposed to You know, it's not that. It's, yeah, it's precision. And yeah, it's, it's yeah, thinking about the bends a lot more because like he will bend any note to any other note. That's kind of, if I was to sum up the Harrison bend thing, is like, he's not just thinking about the blues bends. It's just any note can bend to another note, which is like a, yeah, that, that's a bit of a kind of thing to process. Take it real slow. You know that though. I always tell people to take it slow. Thanks so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do. Even if it's just clicking like and subscribe, that keeps me in business with the algorithm relevancy. I'll be back next week. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza.